Happy day 38, guys. Captain's log, star date, April 22nd, 2020. That's 4222020. That's like a great phone number. <laughs> My kids are laughing at me. Uh, no birthday shout outs today, but I did want to say today is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. I have, uh, when I, in my youth, had been to a bunch of uh, rallies and get-togethers, and I really didn't know what Earth Day meant, but now that I have kids, it, it really is, is much more important to me personally. And um, reading some articles today about Earth Day, and I'm sure you guys have read the same thing, um, the water quality uh, is getting better uh, in lakes and in the ocean. You know, I'm sure you guys have seen pictures of the Venice canals. You can kind of see to the bottom now. Um, the ice cap is cooler than it's been and air quality is great and, and all that has to do with us being inside off the roads factories are closed and again it's maybe a very small silver lining in a really bad situation that we're all in with the, with the pandemic but um, the earth can react quickly if we do the right things and, you know, I, I've, I don't want to get up on a soapbox and talk about, um, you know, battery powered cars and that type of stuff and, and shutting down factories that burn coal. I'm not going to go there, but I think you guys can all see what's happening now uh, with cars off the road, with boats out of the water, uh, with factories shut down. Um, the earth is responding in a very positive way. So anyway, enough about that. Uh, yesterday we talked about Denise and making masks and there was a message sent on my Facebook about a good friend of mine Kathleen's son is in the military out on the East Coast and they're required to wear PPEs but they don't have any or they're not provided any or they provided one and after a couple days it, it you know it gets it's kind of gets chewed up so it, it really got me to think um, this is really what this forums about this this Facebook this community uh, me getting out here every day trying to put a smile on your face um, if I can do something uh, to to help others, I really think mission accomplished. So I would like to, with your help, but I'm not sure exactly how to do it, um, I'd like to get some masks um, and whatever else may be needed uh, for Kathleen's son and send it out there. Um, I've reached out to Denise's organization to see. Uh, that's a pretty local organization. I don't know if, if they're going to reach beyond kind of San Francisco to provide masks for military on the East Coast. Uh, but I'm sure there's other entities, other groups that may be willing to do so. Uh, I just think there's a need out there that maybe no one knows about. Um, I've got a lot of uh, military friends. Uh, my buddy Mike called me yesterday. Robert Tito, uh, Baran, and George both served, I think, 30 years in the uh, the Navy. Scott, Scotty. Uh, and, and that's just to name a few. Uh, Mike Pacina's daughter is some somewhere in the military. I don't know if she, I want to say she's the Coast Guard, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, I'm sure you guys more than anyone know how important it is to support our military that gives so much, basically put their lives in the line for us and our freedoms. And again, not to get up on a soapbox, but I just really think that we as a as a community, as a society, and and as a world, really can can support those people. Uh, I would like to support those people. I don't know what it's going to take. Um, do we do a GoFundMe and, and find a vendor and just buy them and ship them out? Do we reach out to local organizations, grassroots organizations, and get them to sew masks, um, maybe with some camo on them or something, and send them out? I don't know how we're going to accomplish this, but what I would like to do is hear your your feedback, your comments, your ideas. Um, if anyone knows of an organization already established that would we'd be able to tap to get those masks out there and whatever else equipment may be needed, uh, let me know. I don't know if face masks are the only thing needed. Do they need the, the shields that go in the front of the face? Do they need gloves? I'm not sure. Uh, Kathleen, maybe you can let me know. Meanwhile, um, if you know of another organization that, that provides face masks, please let me know. I think as a group, we can kind of figure this out. I would like to jump on this as soon as possible. So if you have any ideas, um, any donations, any anything, really reach out to me. I think we can accomplish this together. And, I, and I'd like to do it in a fairly quick process if we can. So uh, to light to, to end this on a lighter note, I, I felt kind of heavy there for a minute, but I'm just very passionate about it. Earth Day. Go out and celebrate. I'm outside right now. It was a beautiful morning. It's a little bit chilly right now in the afternoon. But to get outside, uh, 
you know, dig a hole, pull some weeds, plant, plant a flower, plant a tree. Um, just get outside and enjoy. Uh, the earth is as good as it's been in a very long time. And uh, we're not sure how long it's going to stay this way. So enjoy it while you can. All right, guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to preach so much today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all your comments, your feedback. And if my daughter just gave me a little a little look. If I did not say men and women in the military, that was, that was my mistake. And I apologize. I, I said men, but I meant men and women. And I, I apologize for that. Uh, anyway, 415... 415 together, 415 strong, 415 better together, 415 support our military. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I appreciate it and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.